Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cinderella SWE Tournament. That was the wrong around us, but the SWE Cinderella Tournament here in WWE 2K19. Today we have another Fatal 4-Way Elimination first round match. We have Sukasa Fujimoto, QT Suzuki, Julia Hart and Tracy Brooks. Now, running from left to right, we've got um, Julia Hart on the left. Then we've got Sukasa Fujimoto. Then we have QT Suzuki and then on the far right, we have got Tracy Brooks. Let's crack on with this one then. So remember, this is, as always, Fatal 4-Way Elimination. One ranking point for each elimination, an extra ranking point for the win, and of course you lose a point when you are eliminated. If you want to see the rankings, you can. There is a link in the description down below, as well as a link to the tournament as well. Be careful, though, on the tournament link. There will be potentially spoilers, but hopefully I've split them into different tabs for you, so um, it shouldn't be too much of a problem for you, hopefully. Hopefully, that is. Right, so we are underway in this one. Uh, debuts here, I think, all round. I think maybe Julia Hart has wrestled once. I think apart from that, all the other ladies here are debuting. Um, Sukasa Fujimoto and Cutie Suzuki, for me, possibly will be the two favourites. A pair of them are on the, uh, the top 100 list of female competitors of all time. Um, Sukasa... Kasa Fujimoto, I believe, is actually the um, the hand-picked uh, successor to Manami Toyota, who is regarded as the best female wrestler of all time. Not in SWE, of course, because she got eliminated a few days ago. Quite savagely as well. So, we'll be interesting what does happen here tonight. Be interesting to see which one of these ladies is able to move on and so far we've seen some incredible stuff. I mean yesterday's match was incredible if you've not seen it so far. Uh, the Maiko Satomura, Raisha, Saeed, Kyoko, Inoue and Diamante match was really, really good. Uh, mainly just for the final two competitors that really had a, a fantastic match in that one. Uh, tomorrow, of course, tomorrow is Halloween. So our match tomorrow is going to be Rosemary versus Abaddon versus Su Young versus the Screen Queen herself, Daphne. So that'll be tomorrow's match. Got to have a Halloween special with these things, haven't you? So Julia Hart now trying to work over Sukasa Fujimoto. Sends her over the top. Big, strong forearm right into the face. Fujimoto drops to the outside. And Julia Hart now, nice boot right in the chest. And, oh, a strong strike in the elbow as well. And Julia Hart really is showcasing a part of her we didn't really know she had. Really aggressive here. As Cutie Suzuki, lovely octopus stretch. The entire body weight is on Tracy Brooks, but Tracy's tapped. Tracy's out. Okay. Cutie Suzuki gets herself a point. And the elimination of Tracy Brooks. That was not... Um, well, didn't last very long, did she, old uh, Tracy Brooks in this one? Cutie Suzuki now getting caught, though, by Julia Hart, who really has been uh, impressive here today. Oh, Sukasa Fujimoto, big attacks on Julia Hart. Julia slapping and chopping and the pair of all three of these ladies just really trading the... Apologies there, not quite sure what happened. Well, I know what happened. We had the old uh, disconnection of USBs again. Uh, I don't think you missed. You probably missed about one or two seconds of footage, so it's not a big issue. Uh, Sukasa. Sukasa, yeah. Sukasa Fujimoto inside the ring now. With Julia Hart, QT Suzuki dropped to the outside as it looks like Fujimoto here going for the 619 and springs over the top with the splash as well. And QT Suzuki just slides on top of Julia Hart to try and steal the pin, and she gets it as well. Okay, so Kasa Fujimoto just allowing QT Suzuki to get that. Oh, and there's the finisher, we know that. That is Manami Toyota's finishing maneuver. Of course, as the hand-picked successor to Toyota also took control of that finishing maneuver as well. And that was a great win for um, Tsukasa Fujimoto. She could have got the extra point if she'd 
gone for the pin herself on Julia Hart. But instead thought about the big picture. It's not all about trying to rush points now. It's about trying to get further in the competition. And uh, if she was to remove QT Suzuki from that pin, it could have just made the match last longer. Julia Hart could have um, survived. So I think that was a wise move there by Sukasa Fujimoto to just allow QT to get the pin and just abide her time and finish off QT Suzuki and still come out of this one with a decent two points for the win and for the elimination. Well, there we go. That was a bit of a shorter one than yesterday's one, wasn't it, really? But uh, still, again, fantastic match. And, uh, yeah, Sukasa Fujimoto joins the host of fantastic female competitors in round two of the SWE Cinderella Tournament. I hope you've enjoyed. Of course, if you have, join me back tomorrow for our Halloween special as we'll have Rosemary versus Abaddon versus Sue Young versus the Screen Queen Daphne. Good night.